Hey everybody, how we doing today? So today's video is an all about the bait jig head update. I uh, just received a delivery today, 305 pounds. Boy, was my FedEx driver happy. <laughs> but what was in those packages was this guy, the three quarter ounce Cobra jig head. Super happy to get this guy in stock. Uh, this jig head, three quarter ounce, using the uh, four aught Mustad 60 degree wide bend 2X strong hook. Best they sell there. Super happy to, happy to have this guy. Um, the Cobra jig heads are basically to augment the Yellowtail snapper jigs I carry. Uh, I have those in 1 32nd ounce, 1 16th ounce, 1 8th ounce. And then now in the Cobras, I've got quarter ounce, half ounce, and now the three quarter ounce. And what these baits are for is to allow you to drift back baits naturally as possible in the current there. Uh, so for instance, the uh, yellowtail snapper jigs, those are great for the upper and getting down to the mid water column. But what happens when you're fishing in heavy current or in deeper water, that's where the, co the Cobras come into play. Uh, with the heavier weights, they'll allow you to still get that bait down even in heavy current or if you're fishing 100, 200 feet depths and you want to get that bait down to where those big fish are along the bottom. Groupers, mangroves, muttons, and so forth. And works the same if you're drifting the reef edge and you're wanting to bounce baits along the bottom. That's what these will be excellent for. But wait, there's more. Um, I always thought that they'd also work great uh, with the way they're built is that they're bottom heavy. So they'll sit with the hook up is to work really well with uh, artificial baits. So I had them designed with these two uh, bait prongs on there, the spikes on there. Um, right now they're set up to be worked with uh, if you use bait tails, where it's basically the soft plastic bodies with the tail on it, basically have the heads cut off. So the big prongs are really good for the holding onto those baits. But let's say you're using a thinner bait like a gulp shrimp. Um, what all you have to do is because these points are just made out of soft lead, get your pliers and just crimp them down about halfway and those gulps will slide on but then really hold really well. And also the same if you're into uh, making your own bucktail jigs, um, you can basically take some dikes, cut off most of the prongs, just leave a little upper cut there and then that'll hold your wraps and then make your bucktail jigs. So a lot of uses for these uh, uh, jig heads there. Now, speaking about that 305 pound delivery, that basically cost me about $1,000 just for the shipping there. But then I calculated out how much would it sh cost to ship them out to you guys and not your guys cost, what it cost me because I have free shipping. How much was it going to cost me to send off all those jigs to you guys? And if I sold them off a uh, single five packs, it roughly cost me about $10,000 just in shipping to get rid of those jig heads through US Postal Service. $10,000, that's not cost of the jigs or the packaging, that's just the shipping cost. And I was like, ah, that's incredible. But that's what also brings up my next part, which is bulk pricing, okay? Uh, you'll see now if you go to the site, all of my jig heads now have bulk pricing on them. And basically what it is, originally I had a five pack and then a 10 pack and they're pricing with it. Now there is a 25 pack. And the reason for that is that shipping cost. Um, I ship out a single five pack. It basically costs four or five dollars. But I ship out a 25 pack. It costs slightly more, maybe about seven bucks. But I could send 25 uh, of those for that roughly seven dollars versus five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. Okay. And with that huge amount of savings, what it allows me to do is bring down the cost and then pass that savings on to you guys. So roughly what you're looking at is the individual costing for a single in the 25 pack will be about half the cost versus buying a five pack. So way considerably cheaper there. So I think that'll do really well. Also, what I've done is I've created a sample pack in the Cobras. Um, I already have an existing uh, sample pack for the baitfish jig heads where there's six different uh, design models and you get two of each one of those. But what I've done with the Cobras, since there's just three weights, I've made a three pack version where you get three of each weight to try out. But also to bring in that bulk pricing, I also have a five pack version. So you can get five of each weight for both of those sample packs. And then the cost is considerably cheaper as well. Uh, now those sample packs, what they're for is 
buy them once, okay? And what that is is to get all the different sizes, try them out, figure out which one that you use. Because generally for your area, for the species, for the type of bait you're using, it's going to be one of the rough one or two of the sizes, okay? You're not going to use all of them all the time. So once you figure out for your specific usage which one, then you can buy that 25 pack of just that one and save even more money, okay? And then you know what just what you need there. So that's kind of why I have those. But overall, boom. Cobra jig heads now in stock. All of my jig heads, because that's what the 300 pound was, was all my jigs. So I was out of stock on the uh, two of the three aught sizes and one or two of the uh, four aughts in my fish head jig heads plus the variety pack I sold out. So now those are all back in stock, plus they have the bulk pricing available as well. So get them while you can. Uh, with the Cobras, remember, uh, I have a limited initial start out because I'm just checking out the shipment of them. Uh, once they're gone, I have to wait for Mustad. So at the minimum, it's going to be a, a week. So uh, once the, uh, it's going to be next month. So uh, the minimum, once I run out of these things, I just have like 2,000 or started off with 2,000 of each. Once they're gone, uh, got to wait for them. So pick them up while you can. But uh, otherwise, uh, good to go. Um, I will be making some new videos for these jig heads. So far, the only one that I've done a video about was this one, my smallest, weakest jig, which is the eight ounce with the three aught standard heavy duty jig head. I've been matching that with the two and five eighths paddle tail. And that's what I've been using to catch all these tarpon I've been doing in the back country. Uh, 15 to 40 pounder tarpons and that's all been on this single jig head so I've got 10 different jig heads I need to start doing videos on how to rig how to use when to use them and so forth so keep an eye out for those in the future but anyways uh, thanks for watching and check out the vid jigs at www.allaboutthebait.com bye